Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a simultaneous linear differential equations with constant coefficients. The two equations are given and some conditions are given to find the value of the constants. Now let's write the first equation which is dx minus y equal to t. Then the second equation is dy plus x equal to t square. Now we have to eliminate any one variable. Let's try to eliminate the x. For that I have to multiply the second equation with d. So that dx and dx we can cancel. So let's write the first equation as it is which is dx minus y equal to t. And second equation we have to multiply by d. So this will give d square y plus dx equal to d t square. Now I am going to subtract both. So I have to change the sign of all the second terms. Now plus and minus this dx plus dx and minus dx we can cancel. After cancelling let us write the remaining terms. This is minus d square y then minus y equal to the first term t as it is d of t square is derivative of t square which is 2t so minus 2t now this will become minus we can take common so d square y plus y equal to minus t t minus 2t is minus t we can cancel this minus and y can be taken common so d square plus 1 into y equal to t. Now for solving this we have to write the auxiliary equation which is m square plus 1 equal to 0. So from this we get m square equal to minus 1 and m is equal to plus or minus i. So this is of the form alpha plus or minus i beta. By comparison we get alpha is 0 and beta is 1. Now complementary function is nothing but e per alpha t into c1 cos beta t plus c2 sin beta t. We have to write in terms of t because the question it is given dx by dt and dy by dt. So we have to write in terms of t. Now let us substitute the value of alpha which is 0. So the first term is 1. Then we get c1 into cos beta is 1. So cos t plus c2 into sin t. So we got the complementary function. Now coming to the particular integral on the right hand side the function what we have is t. So it is t divided by we have to write the quadratic expression this is d square plus 1. Now we have to carry this to the numerator. So t into 1 plus d square whole power minus 1. And we have to expand this using the formula 1 plus x whole power minus 1. This gives 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube dot dot dot. But this t is differentiable once. So all the higher powers we can ignore. So t into 1 minus x is minus d square. Apart from this, all the other higher powers we can ignore because when I multiply this, t into 1 is t. When I multiply with d square, d square stands for differentiating t twice. It will give 0. So we left with only t. Therefore, now writing the complete solution, y is cf plus pi. So the value of y is First we got c1 cos t plus c2 sin t and pi is t. So we got one solution y in terms of the constants. Now let us find another solution x. For that I have to check which we can use. We need x and here we have dy by dt. So we better to use the second equation. From the second equation dy by dt let us copy the second equation here that is dy by dt 
plus x equal to t square. Now from this, let's take dy by dt to the other side. So x equal to minus dy by dt plus t square. Now from this solution, we will find dy by dt and substitute here with a minus sign outside. So x equal to minus bracket open differentiation of c1 cos t is c1 into minus sin t plus c2 into sin t differentiation is cos t plus t differentiation is 1. Apart from that we have t square. So we got the solution x as when I take this minus inside I will get c1 sin t then minus c2 cos t then it, this will become minus 1 so I will write t square then I will write minus 1 so I got both the solutions x and y but there is a condition given in the question which is when t is 0 x is 2 when t is 0 y is 2 so let's use the first condition that is when t is 0 that is they say x of 0 equal to y of 0 equal to 2 means this is 2 and y of 0 is also 2 this means t value when t is 0 they say x is 2 and when t is 0 and they say y is 2 let's use this condition in the solution y so substituting t equal to 0 substituting t equal to 0 let's name the solution as third equation and this as fourth equation so from third equation we have to substitute t as 0 so i get y as 2 2 equal to when i put 0 here cos 0 is 1 so i left with only c1 so 2 equal to c1 then the second term what we have here is sin t. When t is 0, this is 0. When t is 0, this is also 0. So finally, we have only this part. It means from here I can say c1 is 2. Now use another condition that is substituting t equal to 0 in 3. In the same way, let's substitute t equal to 0 in 4. Fourth equation is nothing but x equal to so x is 2 now because this condition says when t is 0 x is 2 and c1 into sin t when i put t as 0 sin t is 0 so first term is 0 minus c2 into cos t cos 0 is 1 when t is 0 then apart from that we have minus 1 at the end this t square is there so it is 0 square so from this the c2 i can bring it here so c2 equal to this 2 will come here. So minus 3 because minus 2 minus 1. So we got the two constant values c1 and c2. By substituting this we get the final solution x and y. Let's write x first. The value of x is c1 sin t. So it is 2 sin t. Then we have minus c2 cos t minus c2 already this is minus 3 so plus 3 cos t then we have plus t square minus 1 in the same way the another solution y is we have to put c1 here c1 cos t plus c2 sin t so 2 cos t minus 3 sin t I put c2 as minus 3 here then plus t at the end. So we got both the solutions.